Did you know that studies have shown that people who make a conscious choice every day to enjoy themselves during the process of whatever it is they're trying to achieve are more creative, more productive, able to bounce back faster from life's challenges and find solutions to problems a lot quicker. Unfortunately, enjoyment is something that most people leave by the wayside today, especially when they're setting out to achieve their goals and changes taking place and things, well, just aren't going the way that they want. That's when the stress level gets a little too intense, self-doubt, overwhelm, fear, and other negative emotions can become very dangerous mindsets. And without realizing it, enjoyment becomes secondary at a time when it needs to become primary. My point is this, there is absolutely no reason why you can't plan for the future, set goals, undergo your daily routine, deal with the challenges, any unexpected that will inevitably come about at some point, and still, make a conscious choice to enjoy yourself while doing so. Now, many of you have heard me say quite a few times, as a matter of fact, that a state of feeling good is at the core of your success and happiness. That feeling good is the fuel that drives motivation and inspiration. Now, if this is true, and by the way, it is, then enjoyment shifts motivation and inspiration into high gear. Why? Because enjoyment is the spark that ignites passion and enthusiasm. Always, always remember that. Write it down, get it laminated, slap it on your refrigerator. Again, enjoyment is the spark that ignites passion and enthusiasm. These two forces are key to creating the things that you desire because the energy that they radiate will not only increase your overall degree of attention, but also generate a powerful connection to a higher part of yourself. In fact, the word enthusiasm comes from the Greek word entheos, meaning the God within. When you're truly passionate, enthusiastic about your vision, you activate this higher part of yourself to assist you in co-creating your dreams. When times are tough, it's the passion and the enthusiasm that compels you to hold on to your vision and pushes you to go that extra mile. It's passion and enthusiasm that propel you into a zone where you feel confident, courageous and victorious, regardless of your circumstances. Failure isn't an option at all, and mistakes are viewed as do-overs. You don't even consider defeat. You're in such a high state of mind that you're gonna find yourself saying, okay, okay, this didn't work. What do I have to do to turn this around? Who can I go to that can help me? I know I can do this, and I'm going to get this done one way or another. Always, always nurture your passion and enthusiasm. Allow yourself to get excited about it. Feel it, talk to it, sense it, acknowledge it, embrace it. Visualize your goals and dreams with it. Because when you hold on to your vision with passion and enthusiasm, you're gonna experience new circumstances, greater opportunities, and serendipitous events will come your way. And that, that is the word according to Bob. <laughs>